Wait, 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 wait. Don't start the video. Don't start it yet. Oh, oh, I'm here. Hey, hey there, how's it going? Sorry I'm late. I'm always late. <laughs> My name's Johnny, nice to meet you. Um, so, I think I know why you're here. Because you are interested in learning how to juggle, right? Awesome! Well, you've come to the right place. Like I said, my name's Johnny, and I am the star student of the Junior Olympic Juggling Team. That's right. Now, you guys know that it's important to eat healthy, right? Absolutely. That's one of the first things I learned on the team. But it's also important to get exercise every single day. So that's one of the reasons we learn how to juggle, because it's a great form of exercise. Now, before we start, I want you to go and look for three balls that you can use to juggle. Now remember, they don't have to be awesome juggling balls like mine. You could also use tennis balls, or golf balls, or um, baseballs, or, you know what, even if you don't have any balls, you can uh, go get uh, three pairs of socks and roll them up into, you know, little balls and use those to juggle. So if you want to, I'll give you a second, pause the video, go get your juggling props, and then come back and we'll learn. Alright, are you back? You ready to learn? Alright, here we go. Time to learn how to juggle. Now, before we begin, let's just start with one ball, okay? Now, I know you're really excited to get to three, but we have to cover the basics. Alright, so, one ball. What I want you to do is just throw it back and forth from the right hand to the, to the left hand. Just like that. Now, here are some things to keep in mind. Don't just throw with the wrists. Throw with the entire arm and make sure that the ball always goes to eye level. Just like that. And don't move your head too much to follow the ball. Just use your eyes to follow it. Okay? Pretty comfortable with that? Notice how it makes a figure eight on its side? Pretty cool, huh? That's what coach calls the infinity sign, but I'm not really sure what that means. There we go. Awesome. Feel pretty good about that? Okay, it's pretty easy. Now we're going to move on to two balls, and that's a little bit tougher. Okay. With two balls, you're going to start with one in each hand. One in the right hand and one in the left hand, okay? Now what you're going to keep saying to yourself is throw, throw, catch, okay? Let's try that together. Throw, throw, catch. How'd it go? Pretty good? Maybe you dropped? Either way, it's okay. We're just learning. It takes a lot of practice at the, at the beginning. Remember what we did with one ball. I level. Throw, throw, catch. Throw, throw, catch, okay? I'm a righty, so I'm starting with the right hand, but if you're a lefty, you can start with the left hand. Left, right, catch, instead of right, left, catch. But you need to do this and drill it over and over and over again. Like I said, remember, keep it at eye level, throw with your arms, and here's another tip that Coach taught me. Imagine that there is a picture frame, 2D, in front of you, totally flat, and you're going to keep the juggling balls inside that picture frame. That way, if a friend watches you juggle from the side, you're doing this instead of this. If you do this, it's called shoveling, and that is not a good idea, believe me. Really bad technique. So remember, keep it nice and two-dimensional, and remember, you're always throwing the second ball underneath the first ball. Watch. Ball one, ball two. Okay? Ball one, ball two. Notice how the second one goes underneath the first one. Now, if you want to be ambidextrous, that's a big word that means good with the right and the left hand, you need to start from both hands, whether you're a righty or a lefty. So you can practice right left and left right. Always at eye level, always in the imaginary picture frame. Okay? Right left, left right. Got it? Good. Now we're going to move on to three balls, my personal favorite. You guys are going to be so excited when you're juggling three balls because it looks so awesome and it's so much fun and great exercise. Now, here's what you need to remember. When you juggle three balls, you have to start with two in your dominant hand, for me that's my right hand, and one in your other hand, okay? Now the first ball that you're going to throw is the one that's furthest away from you in the hand that's holding two, okay? So for me, it would be that ball right there, okay? Now remember, with two balls we did throw, throw, catch. We needed to stop. But now that we have three balls, we don't need to stop. Watch this. I'm going to do th three throws and then catch. 
throw, 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 catch. Now if you notice, and this is the biggest secret about juggling, even though I'm juggling three balls, there's only one in the air at any given moment. Watch. You can even pause the video if you don't believe me. Throw, 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 catch. See? Only one ball is in the air because the other two are in my hands. See? And basically you can juggle for as long as you want. You just need to remember the things that we learned with one and two balls. Always keep it at eye level. Always throw your balls underneath the ball before it. Okay? So always under, 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 under. Always throw underneath the ball before it. And keep them in that imaginary picture frame. Just like that. Now, of course, you also want to start sometimes from the left hand as well as the right hand. Become as ambidextrous as possible. Okay? But remember, start nice and easy. Try maybe three and then maybe four throws until you've really worked up the courage to go for as long as possible. And once you get good at that, then you can learn some of the really cool tricks like the yo-yo or around the world or columns, or robot, or box, and big finish, and the crowd goes wild. Thank you very much. Well, hey, keep watching this video over and over again because you, too, are going to become an amazing juggler. Of course, you're going to drop a lot first, but everyone drops. Practice makes perfect. And believe me, you need to practice for hours and hours to become a really good juggler. And who knows? If you keep practicing, you might just get good enough to join me on the Junior Olympic Juggling Team. Oh, speaking of the Junior Olympic Juggling Team, I almost forgot I have practice in like five minutes. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, I gotta run and meet up with Coach. Well, look, it was nice meeting you. Uh, I hope you guys continue to juggle. Remember, good eaters make great learners and it's just as important to eat healthy as it is to get some exercise every single day. Uh, if you wanna contact me, go to www.foodplay.com. It was great meeting you guys. Bye!